Hello and welcome back to the creepy old city that uh, we need to explore, I suppose. Not really sure for what purpose, uh, but we can. And uh, we are finding some loot, so... Uh-oh. Oh, it's charmed. What? What's up with the camera? Stop moving it around. Let's do a AOE blast attack. Okay, seems to be working all right. Dark ghoul. Is this a special enemy? Can't tell. Take care with you. Let's break this whirlwind. Boy, watch it. Yeah, that frost is pretty annoying. Can we just leave? After him. Come on, Frost. Uh, uh oh. Confusion. Yeah, that's not as good as, uh, as I thought at first. I just killed the guy. Well, kill the guy. So, this place might be a little smaller. Come on. Alright. What is that? Cave Grubbling. Um, looks like seeing the chest is a bit tough. It's unlocked. Uh, we're gonna get a potion that I... Problem not gonna use. Okay, sure, might as well lose. I kinda hate this clay cave, I have to say. Leave it. It's really bloody dark. Enemies come out, come out of nowhere. I'm slow. I'm I'm sick all the time. It's all around terrible. I guess the guards told me uh, that do not come down here. Ooh, have yourself a look at it. Uh, can we just loot that? Yeah, we don't need that many lockpicks. Seem to be doing an okay job. Skull drag. Oh boy. That was about as useful as a bomb. Did the skull drag fighting with the skull drag? Oh, don't do the chill fog. That's dumb. Seriously, don't do that. Let's do the fireball instead. Oh, that's pretty good. Do you definitely want a combination of uh, melee and ranged in this game. <laughs> oh, look at that. Is that the shell? Be more than Cave bat? First. No can do. Come on. Go there. Oh no, this is not good. I trust you. Oh, the school drag is gonna come in. What are you doing? Can we charm the school drag? It's possible. Yeah, we got it now. Come on, school drag, come back. Hit me. 
I don't want to chase you. you Wait, what? Why can't we attack him? You're not with us, mate. Throwing a man down. Mother. Come on. Let go. He needs to die. Yeah, whatever. Let's see what else we got here. Cave bat. Whatever that is. Uh, more temple ruins? So why did this place get abandoned? Oh, that's a... Uh... What? There's some guys in there! Look at that. He's like, what the hell? The elf jumps back as the door opens. She has uh, her weapon raised, ready to attack. But seeing you, she slowly lowers it. I used to court a girl who did that whenever I stopped by. Miss her. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's you. But how'd you get through there? She peers through the door, looking at the shrine on the other side. It's you? Do we, do we know you? Is that it? She grows in exasperation, looking past you. What exactly are you looking for? There's an old temple of Andra. Dario said it was just past this door. Dario? She looks around, as if hoping to find something she missed. I found the old temple in the flooded spot where the falls meet. Good work. I'll make sure no one else disturbs it. She claps you on the shoulder. Meantime, Dario will be pleased to hear the news. How about you go tell him and collect your reward? I don't care about Dario. What does he want with the mosaic of Ukaizo? Her smile freezes on her face. Dario's the only one to talk about Dario's business. If I was you, I'd forget about this and take my pay. But it's your neck. Okay. Ngati would sink the island beneath the waves before handing it over to pirates. Come on, you're blowing our cover. Gwen Finn. Undercraft. All right. And this place uh, seen better days, I guess. Come on, destroy the grub burrow. Cave grub, sure. Yeah. Let's blow up some grubs. What? No, no, no. Let's do the heal. Oh no! She's on her ass! Let's do uh Oh, not enough. Focus. Game? Cave grublings? What now? What? I can't help but feel that the Pillars of Eternity 2 suffers from a uh, lack of optimization. Because the first one r ran like an angel, but the second one? I don't know. Well, to be fair, the settings, even the settings don't, don't give you any customization options. At least when it comes to... Uh, video quality. Let's go. Hold me, mother. Okay. Welcome there, ghosts. What 
what's, up, what's particular about this place? Oh, a charming uh, a grub. Cave grubling, earth blight. Yeah. Earth blight is running off. Did it find an enemy? Great Earth Blight. Great. I'm really happy that you found an enemy that we can find. So help me gone, I'll whoop the next one of you who takes aim at me. So help me gone, I'll whoop the next one of you who takes aim at me. Let's turn it off. Great Earth Blight. It's immune to something. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, we managed to... Oh, that's actually my Earth Blight, right? It's not just a Charm Bomb. No, never mind, that's a Charm Bomb. Okay. Come on! Come back! No! I'm bloody sick of this running away! Everybody! Take out the yeah. Earth Blight! Ain't you got the decency to die? I need something stronger! Immune, no penetration. Alright, we got it. Wow. Level up for almost everybody but Fish Boy. Alright. Sure. Well, that's supposed to be. This place is so damn dark. Hmm. Okay, that's old city overlook. Is that a completely new place? What the hell? How big is this place? <gasps> Sailing is a distant memory now. Glowing purple spores come uh, away on your hand. Old city. You can't go there. You're sickened and slow. So. Cave Grub Lair. Well, that could be the name of every single location in this uh, uh, Undercity. Yeah. Scallywags. No! More enemies! Let's blow them up. Pretty good. Let's do another fireball. Could use something. You should heal yourself. Top priority. Okay, worked out pretty well. Skull drag. Creature. Yeah, this guy's gonna go down. Yep. I hear you. Hmm. Principal Cape. Don't care much for that. Okay. So we managed to explore this place, kind of. We can go to the Undercraft, Chamber of Waves, I can also do a bunch of level ups. Watcher has enough experience to level up. Maybe we're gonna do that.
Well, the game crashed uh, just after I saved, uh, so it's not a big deal, but it does have a memory leak issue. So the longer you play, the worse the performance gets, and eventually it might even crash. So it's not really my problem, but one thing we can do is that I restart the game like every two hours or so. We'll see uh, what's gonna work. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what I can do here. So, leveling up the characters. Alchemy. Arcana. Explosives. Do I just improve this explosive skill? Hmm, I don't know. Let's go with that. Go with history. Also, I'm somewhat tempted to go for like a different approach here. Instead of like... Like, I might just go and like splash in some points into a lot of uh, skills. So that means that when, when it comes to only... Uh, Watcher, uh, what when it comes to watcher only checks, then it's gonna be two plus half of what the party has because the two you have is always full, full point. <sighs> uh, let's just go with uh, this approach for now. Do I want any skills from uh, level four? Like Power level 4? I'm not so sure. I don't care too much about that. I don't care too much about that either. <laughs> I'm the worst. Damn it. All these amazing skills, uh, spells, how could I not care? It's just a better confusion. Yeah, that's not gonna help me in a tough fight, so that's why I don't care. I don't know if I want any low-level skills. Gain penetration with fire attacks, but do we really want to spend one ability just that the fireball does one more damage? That seems pretty insane. Increasing my defenses is... Okay? There's nothing really I'm missing here. I feel like, at least, at least I, I don't feel like I'm missing anything here. I don't know what to pick. Seriously, I might just go with some uh, passive defense. Fit smart. Infuses the caster with vitality, granting them fit and smart inspirations. Okay. I could be nice. So, a lot more health and a lot more intelligence for probably a long time. I'm actually uh, quite fond of enchanting. Seems like enchanting is my... Enchanting kind of becoming my favorite uh, school here. Because, uh, yeah, you can have like, have like fireball and just like, wow, that's crazy. But... Like, again... Well, in the tough fights, you, you just need to uh, live, so... Uh, that matters. The reason why I'm trying to cut down on... Uh, well, no, just showing the level ups is because I'm uh, hilariously indecisive. I don't really like those missiles. It's not gonna do a lot. Freeze armor for 45 seconds. That, that could be really good. Engulf the caster in fire, increasing their freeze arm rating and causing burn damage to anyone who damages them in, with a melee attack. Oh, but you need to be damaged with a melee attack. And you need to be actually damaged, so you can't just uh, stand next to people. Uh, slows down movement, pulls them in. That's a bit of lackluster. Wall of flame is not something I use whatsoever. Minor Grimoire in print. Okay, you can just steal a level 3 spell. 
or lower spell, and you can just spam it all you want. Which could be okay, but... I might just go with the uh, Infuse with Vital Essence. Is this caster only? The caster. Fit and smart. That that's that's pretty good. Fifteen percent of the hits converted to crits. Chance of landing a critical hit. I don't know. I think splashing into enchanting is uh like a very real uh really good way. Fair for ten seconds. Yeah, I think we might just go with Infuse with Vital Essence. That's, that's a good skill. Good ability. Uh, Two-handed... something... I might want to use. Hunting boy is accurate, but I'm not finding any. <laughs> so... Wow, it's, it's kind of about the skill. Hunting bull allows for rapid draw, fire at the cost of accuracy. Accuracy is pretty important. Toughest armor. It's interrupt targets. It's knock the target prone. These attacks are far more accurate. How, how much more accurate, though? <laughs> I kind of need to know. Let's go for the Arcubus. Why not? Sure. Maybe we will be able to use the the newfound infuse. Um mirror damage. Yeah that that's pretty good too. For one hundred seconds, thirty deflection. Or seventy two seconds, fit smart. That could be a good way to start the buffing. Building spectacle. Maybe I'm just gonna take it off something. Uh, Lingret's displaced image. Actually, I've never used that. Okay. That looks good. Uh, Adair, you wanna level up? Vladix, uh, he can just get better at that. Intimidation, that's fine. Hmm, good question. Quick switch, unstoppable. Yeah, we already have that. The fighter becomes resistant to resolve afflictions. There are that not that many uh, good ones to pick up. That's a full attack. That's more for fighters, not for tanks. And I'm kind of having, I'm kind of building a tank here. I don't care about extra weapon set. Wait a second. Oh, that's pretty good. Resistant. But this is... This makes him better against it. Against a wide variety. Uh, I'm not so sure what I should go with. Carefully strike with your rapier, aiming for vital points to ensure success. Fighting this way increases accuracy as the cost of recovery. Trading damage for deflection against melee weapons. Deflecting incoming attacks. So, I can just use a dagger. That's pretty interesting. Also, what about the large shield? Taking careful position behind the large shield significantly reduces incoming ranged weapon damage as well as damage from attacks that target reflects. While active, you are unable to move. Ah, uh, that's a bit weird. That's but still pretty interesting for a tank. So let's do that. Uh, just go with the shield. What about Soti? Uh, Alchemy. Diplomacy. Sure, let's go with Alchemy. I don't want to pick up anything else here. Increase penetration with fire attacks. Yeah, I don't care about that. Or they also picked up combat focus or as well. 
One-handed, two-handed style. I don't know. I might just pick up like a different style, like two-handed style, so we can use ranged weapons as well. And don't feel bad about it. Or just like some kind of a backup style. Because there's nothing really I want here. That's, that's not a bad idea. As much as I like these uh, minor bonuses that we can pick up. It might make more sense to go for a backup style. However, she likes using her her uh, shield plus uh, melee style quite a bit. I don't know. I don't know what to pick up here. Yeah, but that's definitely not what I want. <laughs> we already have three skills and... Uh, am I missing anything good? Yeah, that's... Releasing when they're near dead. Blesses allies with the aid of sympathetic soul. Releasing a healing effect when they're near dead. But it's so slow to cast it. And smart, whatever. This is just better. Restore. Well, it's not exactly better. Ah, uh, I can pick it up, the Watchful Presence. It's gonna give us another heal. I don't wanna pick up these shields because uh, they actually uh, uh, affect the accuracy. Uh, or chance to hit of the spells as well. So we're just gonna go with small shields. Stop with your lantern. Uh, we can pick a pistol if you wanna go with the shield style, but that's kind of dumb. We can go with the parrying blade here. Okay. What about you, Seraphin? I think his level up will be the easiest. Mechanics. Uh, I'll just go for some bluff. I don't care about any other abilities here. Plus 20 defense against disengagement attacks. That's actually not terrible. Yeah. So, gives himself armor and strips armor from the opponent. Sure. Stuns at full target. Yeah, that's just ter terrible. I don't want that. Tier 1 Inspiration. I kinda... Now, if this had a higher duration, I would consider it. But like this, it's a bit too weak. Plus one penetration with cypher spells. Extra will as a cypher. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Let's just go for extra will. Ah, it looks good to me. I don't know, maybe rapier or sword. Doesn't really matter. What about the pistol? Yeah, I don't really wanna go for that. Let's just go half sword. Iron veil, sure. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Old city overlook, cave grub lair. So we have three places to go to. The undercraft, old city overlook, Okay, let's go to the Old City Overlook. And this cavern ascends, narrowly tapering toward the dim light on the other side of the tunnel. Climb through the passage. Now, is this gonna lead us back to the uh, original cave? Because if so, that would be nice! At this point, I'm just like, hell yeah, please, 
uh, make this area a little bit smaller. Because, okay, I know that this is an old city and whatnot, but... Damn. This place is depressing. Perfect. So. School Drag Nest. Okay, we're just gonna run up. A bit disgusting, but sure. And gonna go into the Skuldrak nest again. We're gonna climb down the steps. We've done it before. We can do it again. And maybe check out the location to the north. Then we're gonna have two unexplored locations. The one temple. And whatever we have up here. I can't see it right now, but... It's Gullet Falls. Old city ruins, old city ruins. Maybe we're gonna go into that one. So we're gonna check out Gullet Falls first, because... It does seem to, uh, well, seems like uh, it's gonna be the, the more likely to be a dead end <laughs> out of those two. Wait. Keep it down. Is this even a? Wait a second. This is not even a location we can go to. Amazing. Am I mistaken? No, we can't go there. Amazing. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Come on, man. Uh, the cat who... That's just really showy off -y. You better wait for us. Alt in ruins again. I think we used the right one uh, previously. And I'm not exactly sure where this one is going to lead. Now the loading times are a lot better. So, I'm actually keeping an eye out on the memory consumption. Just, I suppose, just stay away from like uh, six hour long gaming sessions. Without restarting the game. And so, on the craft. What's over here? This is the only location uh, that is unexplored so far. Uh, one thing we can do is go back to the guy who wanted uh, the the grubs cleared out so he can escape. Like, why would you escape this place, right? Like, you wouldn't. This place is the best, easily. <clears throat> Damn, I really need to learn the Name of my companions. Like Takehu. They're kinda weird. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> a deep blue, choppy watered uh, cove uh, spans before you, widening down a cavern that leads uh, eventually to an open sea. Waves clap against ramshackle docks, and uh, the breath that fills your lungs is thing with salt. Shouts from roly sailors peppered the air like buckshot. The deckhand uh, lumber across the water-beaten docks, re ready and uh, waiting, watching the waves that roil the cove. Watch from a distance? It's then the Juana water shapers, as denoted by their robes, stride the length of the docks, arms sweeping, lips moving, they swirl the turbulent tide into a calm, directed current. For a moment, the cove uh, falls still and silent, as if uh, caught in a collective, bated breath. Then slowly, a slew of black varnished dinghies sails lowered, rows steadily into the bay. <clears throat> the sailors swoop, uh, shouting a jumble of body greetings mixed with commands for docking and unloading the wares. 
the ship uh, ships lurch against the wharf and are emptied of crate after unmarked crate almost immediately. The operation is efficient and quick. With a shrill whistle, a dwarven woman emerges from uh, the squat port jutting from the eastern side of the cavern. Twice more she whistles before the water shapers reverse the base current and the uh, ships are swept gently out of sight. Back to the sea. The sight and half that be, Cap. Damn near wets the eyes. Water shapers aiding the Principe. Bringing in cargo with all the grace of drunk oxen. Sounds good to me. The Kehu takes in a sharp breath. I have never seen a more undignified use of our talent. Have we all honed Ngati's talent for drudgery? The Kehu balls his fist and trembles on the spot. You don't care what they're doing, just how they go about it? We can discuss my emotional state later. <laughs> This display has me sickened to my core. Agreed, let's the kill them all. Will want to know of this, but... The guy who stops himself and a cautious look comes over him. Something on your mind? I am wondering if the Crown needs to know the truth about Delver's Row at all. What? Of course they do. Sorry puffs out a heated breath. This warren brings business and trade through the gullet. Without it... Roparo would be destitute. Hmm, I guess you're making a point. The prince needs to know Delver's Row can be allowed to thrive outside of the crown's jurisdiction. I'm not telling the prince Delver's Row is doing uh, more good than harm for the sake of Roparo, we should let them endure. Well, we don't know a lot. I'll tell the prince what we saw here, but I'll see if I can convince him to let Delvo's row remain untouched? I have to think it over. It is no easy question and has no simple answers. The guy who rubs his forehead with both hands, sighing. Yeah, we need more information, I believe. Like, I'm not convinced that they're doing much good. A long rope is suspended over the span between two dogs. They're used look means they are likely intended to help move cargo off ships. Okay, inspect the ropes. The ropes haven't been cinched tight in some time and hang uh, a bit loose on their pulleys. And their lack of tension will demand a fair bit of strength and flexibility to cross safely. Uh, let's not go and climb across just yet. You guys don't care about me. Seriously? <laughs> the hair works like we are investigating this for the queen. The captain of the tiebreaker stands uh, stiff back before you, looming uh, despite her lack of height. Her hard muscled legs uh, spread solidly apart, and she splays thick lost hands over her hips. She regards you with a heavy gaze, her chin tipped high. And who, or what, do we have here? Stubby fingers uh, grind impatiently toward the flintlock tucked into her belt. She drums her fingers on the flintlock as she considers the kehu. We're all stocked up on silverfin, but this fish is a unique catch. And I can bite deeper than you might imagine. He narrows his eyes at her. Are you the one responsible for tricking the water shapers into serving your petty errands? What? Something about the aggression in his tone causes her mouth to split in a crooked grin. Mad Morena turns her gaze back to you. Where I see it, you've got two options. You can tell me you sent you, or I can feed you the shaft of my gun. <laughs> Damn! Nobody sent us! No one said me, you just have piss poor security. Blunt, I like that. It's too bad then that I've got to kill you. She grins a mad glint in her eye, then, with a whistle to her crew, she frees her flintlock and descends upon you. 
Is she descending upon me? The season of hope. Uh oh. I guess the descending upon me is happening right now. Okay. Maybe buff the team. That's a lot of guys. Oh no, he's dead. Seraphin is dead right away. Can you just do a... Uh, Oh, no more Moonbell uses left? How the hell? Oh, this looks bad. We're getting pretty overrun. Can you just heal yourself? Do a uh, concentration aura. What the hell? I can't use chill fog anymore. Oh boy. Do a fireball! Can we do a fireball? Are we doing the fireball? What do you mean I don't think so? Won't work. What do you mean won't work? It will work. Oh, Just no. believe. Can't do it. Where are you? Don't use up your last thingy. Won't work. Oh. How does it not work? Can't do it. It doesn't work. Man, apparently. Don't, don't use it up. We need the fireball here. Let's do a storm. What the hell are you doing, man? What is this? Ah, we already used up the fireball. At least we got good heals. Basically, win by surviving, which is pretty good. Seraphim probably needs a better armor because he gets focused down. It's mine now. Goods and services failed. Let's go. That must hurt. Hmm. Now, from what I've seen. This operation didn't really make uh, a better life for the ones living in the gullet. Sure. So, what was it good for, really? Fine repair. This. Leave it to me. You can disarm the trap. Do you wish to trigger it? No. Why not? No. What? That's a very dumb question. I mean, I usually like options, but it's a pretty dumb option to offer me. Why?
Why would I wanna trigger the bomb in my face? I gotta think about that. Oh boy. All position. Do a storm thingy. Oh, what the hell is that? What the hell are you doing? Explain, please. Explain that. What the hell was that? I need an explanation. I don't get it. He has a ranged weapon. We need more heals. Okay. So help me gone, I'll whoop the Why do you wanna Oh I know because of the dumb torch, right? Boy, watch it. He wants to use the torch and the pistol. Alright, I got it now. At least I think I got it. Renegade Water Shaper. Yeah, just kill Water Shapers. Easy. No. Don't you want to heal yourself? Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot to turn into a shark. Come on, do the shark transformation. I want to see it. That's not how sharks work. That's cheating. Bastards. To squander everything we learn together. I don't care. Your shark has legs. That's dumb. <laughs> the guy who squeezes his eyes shut. The deaths of these students hurts the guild, but no more so than their treachery. Let us move on. I would see bright things again. Well, you definitely joined the wrong crew for that. Eh? Sure. You wanted to see nice things. This is definitely the not the crew uh, to join for that. Stealing? It's not stealing if people are dead. That's uh that's the loophole. Hmm. Uh oh. Not sure I can. Oh, he he died pretty damn fast. Take out the torch. Leave it. Boy. That's I over here. What? Why are you hiding here? Uh oh. You got blown up. <laughs> what? Hey, brawler. What are you up to? So I guess he was just patrolling the area. Scallywag. Let's go. Oh, healer and tug. No, I don't care about that. Blow them up. Exactly. They just teleport next to me. It's kind of bullshit. Oh, no. 
Seriously? I just wiped them out. What the hell? Forty-eight damage on the tug. Alright, the last tug. Oh no. They also saved the healer. Don't charm it. Why does it matter? Oh boy. We are looting, uh... Sure. What? Right. Boris, I'm about to save you! How could you be s betray me so much? Not sure I can. This is the biggest betrayal of all, all time. Well, AoE is pretty good. Maybe I'm gonna change that. Oh, that's fine. What? What the hell, boy? Yeah, minor protection ring. That could be nice, actually. Someone. Uh, no particular order. How about let's just uh, list by when we found it. Okay, what else we have? Yeah, just some thing in the piggies. Her hands are still glowing. Unbelievable that they could hide so much under. Hey, I'll cut through. Right there, mate. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have a very nice conversation. Pirate stares you down, and uh, clutching the hilt of his sword, his arm is roped with muscle and styrated. but striated with pale scars. Hawks close to insiders, so I'll be seeing you off now. Into Andra's embrace. Hmm. I guess we finished that conversation uh, with his ghost. It's fine. Old Delver's row. Ready to we didn't even find Delver's row. We found the back entrance to Delver's row. We can go and uh, help the guy. Tell him that it's safe to, uh, to come. Do you see that? Oh, I guess I am. Adrabon. Leave it to me. Okay. I can't imagine that they're gonna be particularly happy to see me. And uh, Dalbers row. Just, just go across the water. Anyone around here? Uh, nobody, which is great. I kind of want to go down to the guy and tell him that it's safe to come. Come up. But actually, we don't have to... Go from this direction. Now we're gonna go up to, uh, well, up and use the lift. That could be a thing. Anyway, uh, this is definitely a good enough tactic break. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.